In our ministerial roundtable discussion yesterday, I made a point that uh, at the moment it seems we are focusing in terms of data production on two key issues, you know, in particular. One is we are looking at the, you know, infrastructure, ICT infrastructure that we are developing. And secondly, we are also zeroing in, and quite rightly so, uh, on the extent to which, you know, society utilize, you know, such infrastructure. But yesterday I made a point, and I wanted to re-emphasize that point, that uh, we need to go beyond that and also look at the impact that the ICT is having on quite core areas, you know, such as productivity, research and innovation, the impact on employment, you know, creation, and many other, you know, areas. Our priorities at the moment are, first of all, to ensure that uh, there is the right policy environment created. A policy environment that will facilitate the utilization of, you know, ICT, you know, infrastructure. If you look at the, our vision, in you know, 2030, a vision, you know, that we have set for ourselves, there is great emphasis, you know, being made on Namibia wanting to, you know, create a knowledge economy. And one of the key tenets of a knowledge economy is that ICT, unless the ICT sector is developed, it will be a tall order for any country, you know, to achieve a knowledge, you know, economy. So indeed, our emphasis at the moment is to set up the required ICT infrastructure, put up the necessary, you no know, policy, you no know, environment, but over and above that, having had the advantage of um, having landed, you know, the undersea cable uh, a couple of years ago, the West African, you know, undersea cable, or wax in short, our intention is to populate the broadband to the different parts of the country. So that at the end of the day, we ensure that we develop Namibia in terms of ICT competence, ICT skills, in a very inclusive manner without leaving any segment of our population you know, behind. And that is the key, because unless we do that, then we will be developing a very unequal you know, society. They, they are important in my view for several reasons, because you know, as countries, as member states, it's events of this nature that will allow us the opportunity, first of all, you know, to link up and share, you know, experiences and see how other countries are doing and reflect on what is it that, you know, we as individual countries uh, need to do better. What are the areas that uh, need our focus in order for us to, you know, climb the ladder in terms of the uh, the, the, the league, you know, that was published, you know, for lack of a better word, yesterday. So that, you know, a country like Denmark, which came out on top, you know, our intention is to, no, not, not, not to feel jealous, no, no, we shouldn't do that, but to engage, you know, them and say, look, <laughs> you, you seem to be doing very well. You know, wh wh what are the issues, you know, that you are looking at? And, and of course, using that information when we go back to Namibia to contextualize and then develop strategies that will at least take us from, for argument's sake, you know, in terms of Namibia, 117, our next target is that we need to break into the next, you know, 100, and then thereafter break into the next, you know, 50. But if indeed we do not share the experiences, it will be very difficult, very challenging in the task for us to move, uh, you know, to make the desired, you know, steps in the right direction.